Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett at Parnassus Books reminding you that if you haven't read it, the book is new. New to you, it's a new book. Have you read So Long, See You Tomorrow by William Maxwell? This is one of my all-time favorite novels. It's tiny. Years and years ago, I won the Woman's Prize in England and they did this project where they had a bunch of books that weren't in print in the UK and they got all of the winners to write an introduction and then get them back in and, and this was mine. So. William Maxwell was born in 1909 and he died when he was 91 years old in 2000. These dates are going to matter. He was the fiction editor at the New Yorker from 1936 to 1975. Think about that. And he published a lot of books of his own. One of his very first books was called They Came Like Swallows. He published that when he was 29 years old and it was a book about the great flu pandemic of 1918. In the flu pandemic, William Maxwell was 10 years old and he was very, very sick, but he got well and his mother died. All of his books after that had something to do with the death of his mother and the flu pandemic. This was the last book he ever wrote. It was published in, it was published in 1980 when he was 70. And it's also about the flu pandemic. So he, he writes a book at 29, all these books in the middle, publishes this at 70. So one of the things to do that's really fun is to read They Came Like Swallows and also to read So Long, See You Tomorrow. This is a much better book, although They Came Like Swallows is also really good. And it's fascinating to think about a lifelong obsession. And what you really realize is that we all do this. Any writer who has a full career comes back to the same things over and over again. I adore this book. It's tiny. If you've got a book club and you're busy one month, so long, see you tomorrow. William Maxwell, thanks so much.